Now we're on the trail. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. <laughs> After some technical malfunctions. On the way down to Riley Moore Falls. Made it. This is from up top of Riley Moore Falls. Doesn't look like it's going to be a good camp spot up here because it's really vertical, but some great fishing, great place to come swimming. Yeah, we're definitely going to make our way up here. For sure. But this trail is not desirable for a pack. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it's pretty steep and it's got logs. <laughs> I think it's gonna, we're gonna kill it. Me too, man. It's, it's fall. It's time for the trout. And it's before delayed harvest. All right, off to where is going to be home for the next couple days. See, there's the Chaga River, great fishing spot, and camp up here. The little spot has a fire ring, has some benches. Shout out to Jenny and Lucas. This is where we ate lunch and I split my pants last time. There she is. Got some benches to sit and eat on. This will be good. What do you say? Looks good. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Thomas is 100% hammock camper now. It's converted. I'm a ground dweller. So this is our little setup. We moved the fire ring. I'm kind of where the fire used to be. Move the fire ring over here by these logs. We can sit around it. So it worked pretty nice. Hopefully we don't get too many visitors this weekend. There was like 30 people here when we got here, but it was one big group. Heck yeah. All right.
Why don't you come down here? <laughs> Man, what a beautiful day out here. Fish are about to come investigate my feet. Thomas has some water now. Bet that's not easy to carry. Probably only need to do that once. good idea to bring these walkie-talkies. This way if we get separated, we can meet up. Not a bad plan, Thomas. people up there? Okay. Okay. I like that we're kind of far enough away from the attraction. Like, people might hike around and then see, oh, there's a tent up there. We'll yeah. Cool. I don't know. Let's go down here. for a fishing spot right now. And I'm sure we'll work our way up and down this river a good bit. There's a 
downed log over here, some deep spots, and if I can cast over underneath that tree cover, I'm thinking that might be good. Other side of the lake, just past the fast moving stuff or the river. Some of these little fire ants, I keep getting bit up. Beautiful day.
the remnants of breakfast. There's some lumberjack sausage, some eggs, and bacon. It's about 8 o'clock. We're about to get the dishes cleaned up down by the river and uh, head out and try to catch some trout early this morning. Might go up ahead of the falls up there. There was this one couple that decided to camp up there right on the falls, even though there's a big sign that says no camping here. So we went up there last night just to clean up and take a dip and there was people camping right there. So that's okay. I like our little spot here. Hopefully we can slay some trout today. We'll be eating a feast of fish. The bass was tasty yesterday. There's our little home away from home. Yeah. All right, I'm about to venture above the falls to do some fishing. And looking out for snakes. <laughs> branches whipping in the face. Oh yeah, dude, I think this will be good fishing up here if we can get on the water okay. We didn't try to explore this with our packs on yesterday. What do you think about fishing this little pool right here? Should we make our way up, up and then make our way down again later? Like go further and then work our way this way? Alright. This section of the river looks deeper, colder, and faster. shelter, I suppose. Well, looks like this is a trail. Damn, that's pretty.
starting to smell skunk. You smell that? advantage of this little spot right here. <laughs> Dude, you found a much, much, much better spot than where I was. <laughs> you can actually cast or do something over here. fish of the day. Another bass. This one's a little bigger than the one yesterday. I don't know if you can see them down in there.
you want to take the trail up a little ways? Or do we want to kind of wait a little bit and try to fish? I'm going to try that little spot and just get one little cast or two in there and see. Alright. Alright, we slated fishing today, we just caught two fish, now we're throwing them on the fire and freaking seeing them. Got a little low country boil going, it's sausage, potatoes, and corn. I'm pan frying my fish and Thomas is doing his directly over the fire, stuffed with lime. It's going to be delicious, can't wait. Time for a little captain, my captain. I wanted to take a shot like this. <laughs> Just because last time we both could have packed a little bit better. The hike in was pretty brutal. But this is a lot better. Balancing the weight of the equipment and everything. This is way better. Still uphill the whole way. <laughs> Not a bad trail. Just a slight grade. Yeah, man, I might actually do this stick up. Take it home and sand all the bark off. Yeah, I've already got one that's that length that I'm working on carving, but I kind of need to get a Dremel to do what I want to do with it. Do some woodworking. Alright, back at the trailhead, the rest is road from here on out. There's the gate and the trail marker off to the left. Oh, is it again? No, it's just a rat snake, but he is... Short and thick, and look how he's puffing himself yeah, up like a cobra almost. Crazy. Thing is nuts. <laughs> what a view this morning. Mountains way down in there. Because <laughs> there were all like 30 old people. Ow! When we got here. <laughs> Watch me twist an ankle. <laughs> yeah. There's a road. There's a few people here. Oh, that truck is a sight for sore eyes. It means cool beverage. <laughs> Yeah. The cushion seat. Made it. 